Alright, what's up everybody? How are we doing today? Uh, I'm gonna install Drupal. This is my first time and so I'm going to record it and let's see how this goes here. So we're at Drupal.com. Um, I'm going to go to download and let's see what they have to offer us. So download the Drupal zip. We'll go here to download. I actually have my um, files and stuff already open so let's just save this quick. And it should save and download. So we'll go to File, the Tab. Let's open this up. I'm using my other computer today because I spilled coffee, so this one's a little bit slower. So let's go to Downloads. It's still a good computer. Um, let's go to Downloads, and we should be able to find our Drupal zip. Okay, so actually, I did already download this today. So let's go here to our Drupal zip. Oh, this is the open folder. And we're just going to carry this into our website, public HTML. So let's put that in here. Now let's go to our local settings and push this. Uh, let's see here. Public HTML. So here we are. Let's see if we make sure we're in the right folder. So let's, okay, so here we are. There's our remote. Let's go back to our local. And let's push this Drupal zip up, 8.6.7. This is the newest version. Oh. All right, put. Now, hopefully this goes pretty quick. It's a big file, but, um, so let's go back here to our cPanel while we're putting that up. Um, here's our URL we're going to be using. It's another open web domain. I have Minneapolis Web Consulting. So why don't we close this now that we've downloaded our copy of Drupal. And we should be seeing it here. So it just finished. Let's close this and let's just go to the file manager and access this. We'll just refresh the page so we should be able to see the zip file here and looking in our public HTML here it is let's go to extract which should open up this zip file and we're just gonna put it right here in the public HTML folder And this should just take a moment as well while it extracts the files. Should just take a moment. Usually, uh, here we go. So it's taken all the files out. Um, you can see all the Drupal materials, so let's close that. And then let's look at all these files. Why don't we actually go back to the public HTML and we're just gonna delete the zip just to keep things less hectic and we really don't need it anymore. So let's go back to the Drupal folder and let's grab all of these files and we'll just go to copy Actually, let's go to move because we're gonna, we don't really need these anymore. So let's just move them to the public HTML. And all this, there we go, by moving it, it removed it. And then let's just delete that folder because we won't be needing that anymore. So we should, at this stage, have our Drupal files on the server. So let's see what we get here. Um, <clears throat> it looks like we're at an install.php. So now we're going to go through the Drupal installation process here. So why don't we go to selecting our language, we'll choose English, and again we're on our actual domain URL and we're going through Drupal's installation process now that we've put the files on the server. So let's see here, standard install with commonly used features, build a custom site. Uh, let's go with standard. So. Actually, in this case, why don't we do the demo features? Um, because then we'll be able to kind of see how this site looks, possibly. So, 
We'll see how that works out because this is our first time. If it had been our second site or third, I would just do the core. Um, Apache warning due to settings. Okay, I think we should be okay. Um, if it's not okay, I guess I'll have to set that. But okay, so verify. Let's see, do I have to remove this? Check the message and retry, or you may choose to continue anyway. Oh, I guess we're just going to continue because of those warnings, I should go through and update those. Um, however, I know my server is pretty good, so hopefully it shouldn't be a problem. So why don't we go here to the database. Now this is pretty common with any CMS. So going back to our cPanel, let's see if I can, <clears throat> we'll set up our database. So going to databases, MySQL database, why don't we open that? And we will create a new one. So we'll just call it database. And we've created that. Why don't we plug that information in? Well, we're creating it just so we can copy and paste. So the database name is going to be the database. Go back. And let's create a user. We'll just call this user name. Or NAM because it only allows uh, seven characters. And then for this, we'll just type uh, Minneapolis all lowercase. And we'll create this user. And we'll save that. And here's our username. We'll go plug that in now to our database configuration. And let's connect the user and database together real quick. So add user to database. Um, this should add them together so that we can now access it. Let's give all privileges and make those changes. And now going back, um, the database should all be configured. Let's put in our password, which is Minneapolis all lowercase. Oops, I created that wrong. I think I typed that right. And we won't even deal with the advanced options. Um, the local host and database prefixes. We'll just save that. So hopefully this should all configure correctly. I'm sure it would give some kind of warning or notice if it wasn't. But it looks like it's going forward. And it's installing Drupal. Here we go, guys. We're getting there. Um, so installing. You can see it's installing some of the modules and things of that nature. Um, database logging. All right, this is very similar to WordPress um, installation process. It's very similar to the Joomla installation process, uh, where basically we're just putting all the core open source files onto our server domain, and we are extracting them and opening them up on the server where we're installing the software uh, that will be able to manage the CMS the, or manage the content of the website. And um, again, this is pretty standard with at least the three most popular, which I would say is Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress. Um, so it's, it's really nice to see this installation process. And it's just wrapping up now with 93% and let's see now what happens with the whole configuration stage, which is basically going to be the next stage here um, and the final stage. So just let this finish up here. I don't know if I'll have to speed through this a little bit to fast forward uh, this installation process, but really can't do much to make it go any faster. That's just, <clears throat> that's just the process of installation. So here we are with 100%. Looks like it's just wrapping up, finalizing a few things. Um, so now we're at the configuration, I see. So guys, here's our site configuration. Why don't we just keep this since we, I guess this is the demo information that's pulling up. The email address we're going to keep as the company, which would be just the info. And for site maintenance. All right, so this must be like our admin user. I'm sure admin's not recommended. I hope it allows me, but um, we'll just do Minneapolis again for the password, all lowercase. 
and you might say it's weak, but we can always change that later. So <clears throat> this is probably going to be our access to the CMS. So why don't we just put United States and I'm sure we can set this as central. I usually just go Chicago is always available option. Um, check for updates automatically and uh, let's do the check for update, but let's not receive email notifications. I already got enough emails coming. Try to minimize that stuff. So it looks like here's our configuration and our Drupal site should be up. Um, again, we basically just downloaded the files. We got everything set up with our cPanel and here we are and then extracted the files, guys. Here's our Drupal site. Pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, for a default template of a site, it looks really, really good. Um, so we can go in, we'll probably break this up into another tutorial now that we have everything set up and kind of go through some of the back end and uh, management of Drupal. But again, guys, that was the setup process. I think all said and done, as you see, congratulations, you installed Drupal. Um, we have our, our system up, it's on our URL, and we can start to develop. So. Thank you guys for uh, sticking with this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one coming soon. Uh, if you liked it, give a like, give a subscribe. This stuff helps and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.